Welcome back. We've been doing quite a few private actions now, but I feel like it's time for us to carry on the story, return to Baldar Citadel, and hopefully we get to go up into space again. It is Star Ocean. So Baldor fled. I find it hard to believe. But the reality is my father has abandoned the capital, and the powers of the throne have been transferred to me. Then... Neither I nor the citizens of the Empire ever wished for this war. If your kingdom were to offer peace, we would be most receptive. Prince Gerard, after your good mother was sent to be wed, the kingdom and the Empire enjoyed amicable relations. I ask you now, Emperor Gerard, new sovereign of the Vale Empire, can there be peace between us again? <laughs> that is all I could ever ask. Fantastic. So everything's sorted now, everything's good, right? Much quicker than expected. The unidentified vessel is apparently no less than three hours away from Astrofor's orbit. And the Aldous? They are 16 hours out. Unfortunately, the unidentified vessel also possesses speed on par with the Astoria. Depending on what they want, it may be dangerous to take our time here. I uh, was hoping we would have had a bit more time. What do we do about Lola? Even if we apprehend her and take her with us, our own violations of military law rule out the prospect of a proper investigation. The Akizuki's purpose is to rescue the crew of the Edis. I'd prefer to postpone the arrest of any Virian deserters until we're properly prepared. Leticia, can you keep an eye on Lola in the meantime? Yes. There are a great many things we wish to ask her as well. Great, thank you. On behalf of the Federation, I sincerely apologize for this inconvenience. Oh, nice gesture. Uh, if only I could stick around a little longer, I could gather some intel from her. And take it back to Vergold as a nice souvenir. Sorry for rushing off like this. If you cannot take me with you, then perhaps I can ask that you not leave. It'd be hard to refuse if you did. Forgive me. I did not intend to impose upon you, and yet... Must you leave so abruptly? We have yet to even thank you. You saved my life. Took me in and helped me to survive on this world. Rescued my friends as well. <laughs> it wouldn't be fair of me to ask you for anything else. made the princess cry. Hmm. A man who brings a woman to tears is a vile man indeed. So you're leaving? Yes. Remaining on this world any longer will do nothing more than cause harm. I am hoping this is not farewell forever. No, no. Weaver Goldians aren't bound by Federation laws. If I start missing you guys, I can come whenever I want. And if you call, I'll come running. Do not think of staying away too long. I dislike leaving my debts unpaid. Indeed, I formally command you to visit us again. I dare say your name shall never be forgotten in the kingdom of Osiris. Mariel to Akizuki. Requesting transport. Ray. I... No better hands for this nation to be in than yours. <laughs> Farewell, Ray. Goodbye, Leticia. It's always sad when you have to say goodbye. Especially on relatively short notice, really, isn't it? 
Like she said, not a proper thank you or anything like that. Just time to go. It is what I've wanted, though. We're heading back out into space. Into the Star Ocean. It's the name of the game, everyone. Deck one. Bridge. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, everyone? Well, there were a few crazy enough to join me in stealing a ship from a base. Well, when you put it like that, it feels like a lot. Let me introduce everyone. This is Sayuri, handling the helm, communications, and analysis. Pleased to meet you all. You have a single officer in charge of three stations? And here we have Pike. He's in charge of weapons, and defense systems, and transfers, and deflectors. Pleasure. Wow. Nah, this is a merchant ship, so I don't actually do all of that at once. And finally, there's Kasim, who has engineering all to himself. Kasim? Hi there. One person in engineering? Oh, and I'm the provisional captain. The four of us are the crew of the Federation merchant vessel GFSS-12193, the Akizuki. So everyone, meet Captain Raymond of the merchant vessel Edis and his officers, Elena and Chloe. Our first order of business will be leaving the Aster system and getting you all to the Aldis. Given the extraordinary circumstances and the fact that an unidentified ship is approaching, I'd like to ask for your help. Is it all right if you assume some of Sayuri and Pike's stations? Captain Raymond, what does that console on the captain's chair tell you? You sure you should be showing me this? Is it our ship now? Mm, all I can say is it's not much different from the merchant ships I know. Then why don't you try sitting there? Whoa, whoa, enough with the crazy talk. Look, you're the only one present with actual experience as a captain. I thought you were in the military! And I'm sure your crew might have some objections to taking orders from a non-Federation civilian. Oh no, not at all. On the contrary, it'd be very reassuring. The long and short of it is... The Akizuki is the first ship we've ever operated completely by ourselves. What now? I'm impressed you were able to steal a ship in the first place. I'm ashamed to admit it, but the truth is we're in a little over our heads here. Can we lean upon those amazing skills that allowed your crew to escape the Astoria's attack alive? Oh man, I am never going to hear the end of this if Dad finds out. All right. First Officer Marielle, let's contact the Aldis before we depart. Understood, Captain. Chloe? Roger that. I'll open a channel with the Aldis in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Two what? Aldis, this is Communications Officer Chloe Canaris aboard the Federation merchant vessel Akizuki. C Chloe? Chloe, is, is that you? You're on a Federation ship? It's been a while, Antonio. Ray and Elena are here too. The Federation Akizuki and her crew are on our side and are lending us their support. Isn't that right, Ray? Yeah, this is Captain Raymond of the merchant vessel Akizuki. Yeah, we're all safe here, Antonio. Uh, I have no idea what the hell's going on, but I'm glad to hear you're all in one piece. We were able to recover the entire crew of the Ease. They're on their way back to Vergold. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you, Antonio. Hold position in your current sector. We're going to start heading your way. We have an unidentified vessel approaching the Aster system. And we don't want to have contact with other ships right now, for various reasons. 
Yeah, then I don't recommend coming this way. It's crawling with Federation vessels. Vergoldian Interstellar sent out a warning. Ah, son of a... What do we do? We have no choice. Uh, Captain Antonio, I'm Mariel L. Kenny, first officer of the Akizuki. Kenny? Ah, now you're shitting me. The unidentified vessel's ETA in this sector is approximately two hours. For Raymond and the others, I ask that you do everything you can to reach us at maximum speed. Uh, understood, Lieutenant Kenny. We'll rush over there, scramble warp 11. Uh, no, make that point 12. See you in a bit, Ray. Over. It will take them 10 hours to reach us. What shall we do, Captain? We play it by the book for now. Let's try to hail this unknown ship. I is that wise? It's necessary if they're not sending out an ID signal. And we'll be showing them that we intend to follow the rules of interstellar travel. Sayuri. Understood. I'll try a long distance hail via subspace communication. Hmm. There's no response. I'm still not picking up an ID signal either. <laughs> Shy, are we? What's the combat loadout on this vessel? Well, we have four phase cannons, three layers of shields, no cloaking system, and a subspace warp engine. Let's pray they aren't hostile then. We'll play it by ear until they're 30 minutes away. Why not get some rest in the meantime? We have cabins for you on deck three. I'll contact you if something changes. You sure? I will stay here to support the others. You, go get some rest. All right then. I will gladly take you up on the generous offer. I want to tour the ship. I want to tour the ship. Wouldn't hurt to take a look around the ship, I guess. Wonder if Chloe's in her room. We get to tour the ship. You appear dispirited. Though I suppose that is understandable, given the sudden farewell to our new friends. Yeah, chances like this don't come around too often. So I'm gonna pick up all the piloting tips I can from everyone. There are cabins for you all in Deck 3. I think Chloe may already be resting in one. Please spend your time however you want on this ship. You are the captain now, after all. Oh, indeed. Um, let's go to the transport room. I want to go to engineering. Uh, residential quarters. Pretty barren, isn't it? Huh. Never thought I'd be sitting at the console of a Federation ship. I hope we can get to the Aldus without any more mishaps. Captain Raymond, Miss Chloe, the unidentified ship is now 30 minutes away. Hopefully, it's nothing to worry about. Hopefully. Maybe we should head back to the bridge. All right. All right. Time to head back to the bridge. Definitely done on this floor, aren't we? Not like a green thing of that. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Hold on. Well, I did a scan. It didn't say anything, so... Bridge! Status report. Unidentified vessel is 24 minutes away. Registration remains unknown. Aldous's ETA is 8 hours, 20 minutes. Line up tactical and schematic displays. Map the unidentified ship's position on tactical and include their predicted course. Elena, I need you to perform eclipse tactics as soon as they exit warp. Roger. Um, what exactly are eclipse tactics again? The idea is, we will conceal our position from their sensors, using the shadow of Aster 4. 
You gotta know at least that much if you intend to stay up here. Uh, I only know it from lectures at the Academy. Ships need to adhere to an orbital trajectory in order to remain near planets. So it is impossible to maintain a fixed position within interstellar space. In short, by referencing the trajectory of the other ship and the size, rotation, and revolution of the planet, we make minute adjustments to our own orbital trajectory to ensure the planet is constantly between us and the other ship. Okay, so we'll never know each other's exact positions. Doesn't that mean we won't be able to fire on them? Exactly. It's a move not for attacking, you see, but for buying time. Unidentified ship is 15 minutes away and exiting warp. Unidentified ship reduced thrusters to one fourth thrust. It's here. Mariel, red alert. Sayuri, prepare to execute eclipse tactics. Elena, I want to get a look at this ship before we enter the planet's shadow. Switch the screen to max optical magnification. Unidentified ship, on screen. Hello. What the? This ship? It does not exist in my database. This is a Scorpium construct. So you're telling me this is a Scorpium ship? While there is no issue with considering it a Scorpium vessel for the sake of convenience, what appears to your eyes as a spaceship, all of it entirely, is in fact a single Scorpium cybernetic life form. So the ship is alive. I see. Quite fascinating. Henceforth, I will refer to the object as a Scorpium vessel. Captain, the Scorpium vessel has entered an oppositional orbit to our own. We can now only estimate its current orbital trajectory. Now it's a question of whether we can hold out long enough for Antonio to arrive. But it doesn't seem like we're what they're after, though. Its outward appearance gives no clue to its combat abilities. Speaking in terms of Pan-Galactic Federation vessels, its offensive capabilities are on par with a battleship. So we're outmatched. Great, let's hope it doesn't come to that. We, Scorpium, will never attack others without reason or without warning. Yeah, that's the same with humanoids. It just means if we get attacked, it'll be for some reason we don't know about. The Scorpium battleship is maintaining its opposing orbit. They are likely aware of us as well, so I believe it is safe to assume they do not mean to attack. And the Aldis is about eight hours away. Hopefully they continue to play nice. Hmm. In hindsight, maybe we should have just left this sector after all. If they don't intend to attack us, then can't we just go? The fact that our own long-distance sensors detected the Scorpium vessel means we cannot slip by undetected. What is the warp speed of this ship? 11 normal, 12 at maximum. If they're the equivalent of a battleship, getting into a game of cat and mouse will not go well for us. At any rate, our safest bet is to not provoke them for now. But it won't be long before they detect the Aldis approaching too. <sighs> this is going to be a long eight hours. Better to take rests in shifts. Elena, contact me immediately if that Scorpium ship so much as twitches. Roger. Lloyd. Hey, what are they up to? Captain, we are receiving a transmission from the surface. Please report to the bridge. From the surface? How? What's going on? Better get up to the bridge and check it out. How? I imagine it's Leticia, but how? What do you mean by surface? Putting it on screen. Oh. Ray! Leticia! Ray, I am so glad you are safe. You are facing off with a Scorpium ship, yes? What's going on? Leticia, why are you with Lola? We'll get to that later. Lola to the Akizuki. The Scorpium vessel is gaining altitude. It's begun to circle around while decreasing absolute speed. Decreasing absolute speed? You mean it is adopting an aggressive posture? We are still in the shadow of the planet and cannot confirm this from our end. Tactical and schematic maps still display a predicted trajectory. 
Lola, can you send your schematics over to us? Already done. Thanks. There they are. Damn it. Cutting comms for now. Tactical and schematic maps updated. The Scorpion battleship will enter effective sensor range in three minutes. Already? Don't let your eyes off that enemy ship for a second. Enemy ship? Wait, are we that certain they mean to attack? Why would they suddenly break from the standoff? Man, what are they teaching you guys in the Federation these days? It's a textbook move. They took advantage of Eclipse Tactics' weakness. If they don't move, stay as they are and wait for us to approach them, they can continuously inch closer, and we won't notice until the very last second. It's a clear indicator of an attack. Hey, Duma! I thought you said they wouldn't come after us without a good reason. It is likely that reason to attack arose. This is no time for jokes! Where is the Aldous? ETA, three hours, twelve minutes. I figured as much. They knew. Guys, the Scorpion vessel is here. Panic. Break orbit. Course 120. Mark 180. Roger! Race defensive shields. Reroute full energy to the rear. Got it. Energy signatures indicate they are preparing to attack. They are using optical weaponry. Shields at 65%. Restoring them now. Damn. Over 30% from a single hit? That's definitely a battleship. There's no way we can survive until the Aldis gets here. Can we escape? Impossible. We must abandon ship. Ah, damn it! Sayuri, turn to course 210, Mark 90. Set the autopilot to enter a high orbital trajectory. Roger that. All set. Mariel, is he going to do what I think? Just follow Captain Raymond's orders. Okay, now all hands to the transfer chamber. We don't have much time. We should hurry. Uh, see you guys. Uh, come on, come on, get him. Come on. I'll leave Elena here. She'll be fine. Pike, set the transfer to initiate as soon as we enter orbital trajectory. Um, where are we going? There must be a ship from where we last received transmissions from the surface. Put us down somewhere there. Well, I did see something that looked like a ship in the Vera region. Well, this didn't last long. Yeah, I was gonna say, I just got it! Oh. Yeah, this place. There it goes. Sorry, Akizuki. Hey, Leticia. We're safe, somehow. Far be it from me to interrupt this joyous reunion, but I've pinpointed the Emperor's location. They're still inside the Tyrannus. What? W what do you mean, the Emperor? There's a good chance that the Scorpion vessel that destroyed your ship just now is here to collect Colonel Valange and Gaston. And perhaps, the Emperor. And what is Buldor hoping to accomplish aboard this strange ship? The Emperor knows of the Scorpion. 
Leaving them unaccounted for wouldn't be a good idea. Not for me, and not for Osarius. <laughs> Let us be off. There is no telling what they will do if we leave them unchecked. Got it. I'm with you. If they know something about that Scorpium ship, I definitely want to hear it. Okay. You will have to wait outside. The interior has been fortified by Colonel Valange and the others. Once we know it's safe, I'll have Raymond Lawrence contact you. Huh? Oh, yeah, gotcha. Understood. Ray, be careful. Let's make our way. The Colonel and the others seem to be down on the lowest level. All right, then. I gotta say, though, seeing this ship crashed right into the surface like this is kind of impressive. Let's see what we can do with our group here. So, change party, because we want Midas in. To see out. Um, do we have we have everyone available? Yes, good, good, good. But have you gone and lost? Because you left the group. Yeah, you've gone and lost your accessories, because that's how it works, apparently. It's kind of annoying it does it that way, but okay. It's fine. Let's go with that. Let's go with that one, actually. Some Midas. But we'll have that. I mean, I mean it's not, they're not especially needed, but... Don't I have a cast time one? Sure I do. Not that one for Nina. Hmm. And we'll go with the weak spots one. Like, not especially important what I want to get on these guys. I'm gonna go with that defense one. Where was the healing one? Yeah, that's what we want. And Ray's still got his. Good! Right, so... Maybe I should sort, short, sort their stuff, but considering their level, we'll wait till the boss. We'll be alright. There'll be a boss around here somewhere. Looks like this is gonna be its own maze of sorts. You sure we can get through here? I can! I was just in there anyway. So I'll lead the way. It would seem there are yet enemies afoot, however. Best proceed carefully. I have a scan of things. Nothing interesting this area. Like that, that solves an issue for me. Like, just use the scan to see if we can find anything. Quite dark matter, okay. Blech. Oh, yes, of course, because I was loading saves. To get some private actions in previous parts, I need to build up my AP again, don't I? Got a few good resources there. Is the advantage of having that item up? Item. Item up. Item. Earth God Talisman. There was a vertical transport system somewhere in the area. What's that now? Oh, you mean like an elevator? Just a cargo transporter. Scan going. Ooh, there's a chest. Must be always resort to mine. I forgot about like areas on enemies. Is he gonna target the right one? Though? No, he's gonna attack the chest with that. Okay. Still getting level up those. Sweet. Scarf of rage. Chest over there. Bum, ba da dum, ba dum, bum, ba da bum, bum. I'm very much thinking when we do our Leticia playthrough, 
which based on a poll I put on the channel means after this playthrough with Ray, that we actually... Oh, I was thinking it was going to be a boss fight. Um, but yeah, that we actually just go on the easiest difficulty, which is Earth, if I remember, and just blast through it. No private actions or anything like that, because the majority of them are probably going to be pretty much similar to what we've had, and just get that story done. That's what I'm thinking. Are we outside the range of that now? We are, so... Boop! Oh, I didn't get a scan going. Small organic life form detected. In here? How do I get to you? I have no idea. It's not over there. Enemies up ahead. Part of me is curious. With all, all the uh, leveling up items I've got going, how much XP would we get from these guys? But no, because it would be a significant amount. A significant amount. Okay, so where then? Hmm. So where, 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 where? Is this just a way up to get a chest? Was that it? Could have been. Oh. That makes more sense. the special introduction for these guys. They're not... I, although, again, is that... Yeah, I did level up quite a bit, didn't I? So... Not even by choice, by the way. <laughs> it's like, I messed around and got, like, one really high. I was like, well, I've got to balance them out, otherwise my mind's going to go crazy. It's fine. So, chest down there. But is this going to lead to the bunny that's in here? Might do. Weird looking current, that just seems to be the item. Hmm. How do we get to the bunny? I want to get the bunny. I'm aware it's inconvenient, but we'll need to take this above first before we can use the turbo lift. Okay. See, for me, it's like back this way to get that bunny. That's what I'm thinking about right now, is that bunny. It's got to be that up here. It's a bunny. Feel free to take anything you might find of use from the ship. Are you sure about that? I have no further use for any of it. Bastard. Just trying to progress onwards here so I can just get to that bunny. We are heading towards the bunny, right? I have no idea where I'm actually going now. It's like, I thought that we were just going above a little bit and then this was going to lead to the bunny. M maybe it still is? No idea where this is taking us. We'll find out though. Red doors. How far back are we going? Wait. Run past. I want to check the map, but I'm constantly in a run right now. Sweet. But that took us back down into space. 
Uh, this is not even where the bunny is. Target sighted. Target. So that has put us back in. Okay. Hmm. There's got to be a point where I can get to that bunny and drop down. Well, I decided to give up on the bunny for now. And I decided I was also going to end this part here. So we'll see you in the next part when we go through these big doors. Ta-da for now.